Hey guys, in this video tutorial, I will show that uh, how to deploy Laravel Vue.js and Inertia JS application on cPanel share hosting host ranger, right? So you will see uh, this project. This project is an, a local server and we will upload uh, this uh, uh, project from the local server to the host ranger cPanel, right? open a new terminal and then I'm gonna write here the command npm run build so now the project has successfully built right so now I'm gonna create a new subdomain so I'm gonna write the subdomain name qbanks and here I'm gonna click on create so now the subdomain is successfully created I'm gonna click on overview and then I'm gonna click on file manager inside the file manager uh, you will see public underscore html and inside the public underscore html you will see this subdomain okay so I'm gonna click on my file and let's create a new folder so I'm gonna create new folder banks, and then I'm gonna click on create okay now it's the time to upload uh, the folder from local server to the cpanel so i'm gonna click on c and then i'm gonna click on zim inside the zim i'm gonna click on htdocs inside the htdocs this one is my project and here you will see default so this default is my project and now i'm gonna compress this file to upload to the server live server The file is successfully uh, converted to zip and here I'm going to upload to the uh, zip file here. So I'm going to click on upload and select the file and then I'm going to select the zip file. Okay. And then I'm going to click on open. Now the file has successfully uploaded to the server. So now I'm going to extract this file. I'm going to click on extract and write uh, the name for the folder, dummy folder. So I'm going to just write a dummy name and click on create. So here you will see inside the default all the files. So now I'm going to select all the files and move to the main folder. Right? So I'm going to click on move, okay, now I'm going to delete uh, the dummy folder and here you will see all the files. So now I'm going to click on public, inside this public you will see the project file and now I'm going to click on archive and this right name for the archive folder. So I'm going to give banks subdomain and these are the files that we will move to the uh, subdomain directory. Okay, so now uh, the zip file has successfully created and now it's moved to the subfolder subdomain. So I'm going to select uh, uh, the subdomain. Okay, now I'm going to click on move. So delete other extra files from here. And let's uh, extract this zip file and write the name dummy. So I'm going to write the folder name dummy and click on extract. Okay. Now move all the files to the main directory and then click on move. So now I'm going to delete uh, the zip file and also delete the dummy folder okay now it's the time to correct uh, the file path inside the index.php i'm gonna click on edit and here i'm gonna correct the file path 
y double dot and also I'm going to write uh, the folder name cube bands and also correct uh, this uh, auto load.php file path and then I'm going to click on save changes let's try to visit the site open new tab and in the visit here okay there is an arrow right so this file path is also incorrect so I'm gonna correct the file path for the bootstrap inside the bootstrap file path app.php so let's create the file path here correct now I'm gonna click on save changes and let's try to visit the site so I'm gonna refresh okay so then one backslash more so I'm gonna click on save changes and refresh now here you will see the database here so I'm gonna upload the database so I'm gonna visit local so here you will see the project name and export this database click on export and then I'm gonna hit the export button now the HTML database is successfully downloaded. So I'm going to back to the hosting and here I'm going to click on database. So I'm going to create a new database user and password. Here I'm going to write uh, the database name QBanksDB and also I'm going to write uh, a username for the database and also I'm going to write here uh, the password and click on create. Now the database is successfully created. So now I'm going to copy this uh, uh, database name and inside uh, the .env file we will change the database name here. Okay. So, I, so I'm going to copy the username and paste inside uh, the .env so db user I'm gonna paste here and also I'm going to write uh, the database password. click on save button so now I'm going to enter to php my admin and let's import uh, the sql here so I'm going to click on uh, choose file and uh, select uh, the file sql file and then click on open and then I'm going to click on import the database now the database is successfully imported and let's try to refresh the site okay now the site is working properly okay from here you will see local from local server to cpanel live server right so let's try to put the email and uh, password to see is it working or not I'm gonna click on sign in and click on launch okay now the site is working perfectly right so if this video is helpful please subscribe my channel comment like and share thank you